Kyle here from allmediareviews.blogspot.com. Um, here to talk about, for this video, the Cloud Cult performance that was last week. It was actually done, it was like December of 2020, I guess, of the complete Light Chasers album. So, um, this is a pretty significant album to me as a Cloud Cult fan. Um, while I, I liked their music before this, um, it kind of elevated them for me, but I was just kind of gonna just kind of reiterate, rehash a little bit what I went through videos I made about Cloud Cult a couple years ago. Um, I kind of look at their catalog starting from The Meaning of Eight from 2007 as being like I love, I really enjoy all their records. Then Feel Good Ghost from 2008, then Light Chasers 2010. Love 2013 and The Seeker 2016. This is a, a really good run to me. Um, still, this is kind of probably my sentimental and favorite. It's their most progressive in some ways. It's it's like, I mean, a lot of their albums are concept albums and the albums before too to an extent, but this one is like the most I don't know cohesive. I thought they they kind of did everything. They, Okay, so they did the whole thing live. It's very live. They had uh, sh um, Scott West and um, Connie Minowa, uh, Craig Minowa's wife, um, of course, doing the paintings, Scott's performance, uh, his, his painting. And look, it had already been started long before they started playing. But um, I've always, I like when the moment that I got into them, the moment I, this album came out and I really got into it, I, I saw them at First Avenue right around that time. They did back-to-back -back nights. I went to, the, I think, the second night. And I saw them. Um, there's more to that, but... Um, so that, so I've seen them... I don't know how many... That was the first time I'd seen them. I'd seen them... I've seen them maybe five, six times since. They're local, so it's a little easier living in Minnesota, being a Cloud Cult fan, being able to see them. But... Um, I, always want, I was thinking that it would be great to see them play the whole thing live. And... For some reason, I thought this album was longer than 56 minutes, but it's 56 minutes, as you can see. So, 16 songs, which, 16 tracks, 16 parts. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it definitely reproduces the feel of this album, of like a, an adventure, a, a group of people on a, on, a, on a ship going somewhere, maybe. Possibly in space, you know, it's not really that specific, but um, there's a captain and everything like that, but um, it's kind of poignant and the timing of it was just really well. That same day, of course, last Thursday that I, that I, that they, they did upload it to Facebook and it's still available, so I'll share the link and maybe it'll be permanently available uh, to watch. Um, but of course, that was the day everything that happened with Ukraine, um, so it kind of, Brought some good feelings, some positive feelings, even though a lot of it is uh, tear-inducing. A lot of their music can be. But, um, you know, it's just... the vo Craig does some vocal effects live that he that aren't on the album, too. Some of them are, some of them aren't. That totally fit, fits the live feel to it. And, um, yeah, no, it's, it's just... it's. I'd like to see it in person live. I don't know if they're going to do it again, but it might have just been a one-off. Of course, it was done somewhat remotely because it was, you know, during COVID before most people even had vaccines. Um, so you have pretty much the whole band or the, the group of people that are of the band now um, all in their own homes, you know, connected, like some bands have done. So, um, but yeah, I mean, exploding people, room full of people in your head, running with the wolves. Um, what's the other one? Uh, forces of the Unseen. You know, and the themes, I just, you know, and I haven't listened to this album in a long time, probably around the time of the last record even. And it just is so rich and so nostalgic and so um, sentimental in a lot of ways that the themes on this album are so strong and, you know, they stay with you. Um just the, the motifs and everything like that. So, you know, um, so maybe I'll do as I had to say, I'll la add the link and everything like that. If you're a Cloud Cult fan and you didn't get to watch that and you're not on the Patreon like some people. I mean, I should be, it's just, I've gone over this before, I think, you know. 
I am a member of the, the Reina Kindo slash Kindo's Patreon. It's a dollar a month. That's in my budget. <laughs> Even though at one point it was like one song a month, and now it's it's just a bunch of other things. Anyway, um, a lot of these other Patreons for bands, which I would love to do, if you're doing it every month, I mean, you can always cancel, of course. I just am not someone who wants to start doing it and then cancel and going back and forth. Even the Deer Hunter, I didn't. I did the, made the one exception to buy the to pay for it for one month so I could watch both Act One and Act Two live. Um, you know, it's a little more than that, and it adds up. It's you know, so that's why I haven't done it for them and Kimbra and um, Dirt Pa Robbins. And there's a there's a bunch of them, you know, and you know, it's just. Financial circumstances. I should just go ahead and do it. I was like, people are asking for gifts for like a birthday present or a holiday, you know, Hanukkah, Christmas. I said, well, I love, you know, Patreon membership. <laughs> so, anyway, um, well, since I'm on the subject, on the topic or subject of Cloud Cult, you know, Light Jages again, epic record, great to see them perform that. Um, I, um, might just add, just learning about since, you know, the, the Tears for Fears album, The Tipping Point, finally came out last Friday. Brief review, I'm uh, lukewarm about it, unfortunately. Um, I need to listen to a little more, but it's a little new agey for my takes. The title track, which was shared last year, I loved. Um, it, it's got some moments, but uh, I want to revisit that album from 2004, the last one. Everybody loves a happy ending. Because the Beatles element is really strong. And I, I'd like to revisit some of the others. Um, Seeds of Love and uh, especially the, the the albums that have come out after that. Elemental and then the, the Roland solo album. Um, was it King of Spain or something like that? But the, 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 I, I listened to those both or all of them briefly. I, I listened to Seeds of Love last year once and I still like it. I mean, I, I should love it more than I would, but I kind of wonder if... You know, now hearing the tipping point, my my feelings might change about those a little bit. I don't know. Um, but the Cloud Cult album and Marillion album come out this Friday. The Cloud Cult album, now just going to their website, they have a pre-order just for the download. It's for the download only. I don't know what they're doing. It's called a Metamorphosis. It comes out this Friday, March 4th. Um... I don't see any information at this point. I'm on the mailing list. I, sh I should probably go back and read that. I don't see any information that actually says they're they're, being, they're issuing it on compact discs. I know they're not going to do vinyl. The the Seeker they did on vinyl, that's the first and last time they ever do vinyl, is my belief, because they've always been pretty much against vinyl, almost purely for the fact that it's environmentally not not helpful. It's hazardous environmentally to produce it. Um, something would have to change dramatically. It was a one-off. Um, but I, I can't, compact discs at this point are, are kind of getting, they're, they're not, they're not even nearly as popular as they were even when the last album, The Seeker, came out. So I don't know. I would think they're still going to release it on vinyl, that they have, on CD rather. Um, but six years now, um, so digital might be the only format they're going to use. But just to add to that, now going to the website on cloudcult album, cloudcult.com slash albums, the, the album Metamorphosis, actually you can stream the whole thing. I don't know how long it's been up here. It could have been up here for... I know people on the Patreon have heard this thing frequently. I have not heard it all. I The first single, uh, One Way Out of a Hole, um, I liked. I mean, I, it was put up a few weeks ago when they shared the news about the new album. I sampled just some of it right before I turned the camera on today a little bit ago and kind of being lukewarm about it, but I'm not going to start to make any judgments yet. You know, and the Tears for Fears thing, I'm kind of the same feeling. But um, my my initial impressions is this is going to be Kind of like The Seeker, but it's probably going to be less layered and more folky. I don't know why that is, for various reasons. The only thing I'll say is that, given they've been on Patreon, given that they've had the Patreon for a few years now, and they've been sharing songs on there, as far as I understand, this, is, this album, Metamorphosis, has one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four five, six, eight tracks, assuming that's the whole thing. A lot of them sound kind of stripped down and folky, and 
uh, I don't know. I mean, there some of them are longer, but um, songs are a strange world. You know, a strange world. Uh, parentheses know that I love you. <coughs> when you reach the end, the best time back into my arms. What would you do? Uh, with a question mark, one way out of a hole, and the firefly and the snakes. I was just gonna say, um, there's eight tracks there. Kind of pretty much the assumption that they've written and recorded probably more than twice that many since this album. They did a soundtrack a few years ago too, but that was all instrumental. So, in, in other words, even depending on how this re this record actually comes out and my impression of it, I'm kind of going to be sort of mentally of the belief that w they've got other music that they are going to put out probably less than six years since this record came out that could be different, or at least there'll be, there's more music that they've recorded recently that is not here. The other thing I'm not clear on is if this is the full track list. So, but given that it's actually streaming on their website, you bet I'm going to try streaming this sometime in the next few days. And maybe I'll do a follow-up take on it, or I'll wait till Friday. I'll probably just wait till Friday, get the download, and by Friday I'll probably have heard it enough times and then get the download all. No, you know, but my feeling of with the Tears for Fears record being sort of lukewarm at best, and this Cloud Cult album now, and then the Marillion album, so I'm kind of like my big guns, you know, this year's been, had a bunch of records have come out, but none of them have really caught my attention that much. Black Country New Road was the one that was the most disappointing. Um, I think at this point my favorite records this year are probably Nordic Giants, and I have only listened to that a couple times, and um, what I've heard of, of the Persephone record, but there's stuff still coming out besides Marillion and Cloud Cult. There's Team Me next week, a week from Friday, which I'm... The singles they've released, I've liked all of them, so I'm pretty optimistic about that. Um, you know, the big guns, though, the Deer Hunter and King's X just announced they have a release date. They just haven't announced the release date. The big guns, those are the big guns. Small League's Think Ship has to be in that category for myself as well. Um, I was just thinking about that, actually, um, just last night about, you know, well, Marillion and Cloud Cult are out. Once they're out, it's like, well, what, what's, what's there to look forward to? That is Team Me, yes. Small League Sink Ships. There's some others. The Coheed record in May. Um, and some others, you know, Porcupine Tree, even though it's a trio. Foles and Everything, Everything, War Paint. Um, Ty Tabor's solo album. There's a lot of stuff still in the pipeline. Oddland has a record. Uh, but just as far as my primary, most optimistic hope, look forward to records. You know, these these three, well, these two, and I put Tears for Fears because I, I was really hopeful about that Tears for Fears record after this week. And, you know kind of goes down a little bit but you know then again there's a whole boatload of stuff that hasn't been announced yet so anyway i'm gonna do one more review but thank you for watching what's your take on the cloud cult performance if you've seen it of light chasers if you haven't i'm linking it in the video check it out if you like this record if you're a fan of this record definitely check it out we'll see you next time